Alec from Victory Lipa and welcome back to Kate Shirts Online. If this is your first time here, bibigyan ka namin ng isang energetic na Kate Church Club. Ready? One, two, three, go! One, two, three, one, two, three, go! Kate Church! Yeah. And now, let's lift our hands and worship the Lord. He is a great on the throne He will reign forevermore And His kingdom will never end Come all let's worship the Lord Every tribe confessing His King as we worship the name of Jesus We will lift up our hands We will rise and take a stand Cause He is a great God He is a awesome, wonderful God Mighty in power Author of wisdom Better than life from Victory Lemery. Kumusta kayo? Today, we are going to have an acting exercise. Tapos nga kamay ng mga magagaling mag-acting dito. Wow naman! Kids, ganito ang gagawin natin. Magsasabi si teacher ng iba't ibang emotions. And all you need to do is to act it out. Sige nga, practice. Happy! Galing ah! Nice job! Sige, game na tayo! Surprise! Angry! Worried! Sad! 
in pain, scared, disgusted, extremely happy. Ang galing mag-acting! Pwede, pwede maging artista. In our game today, we acted different sets of emotions. Ang iba, about fear, takot, happiness, masaya, tsaka, ang iba naman, surprised, kasi nabigla, at marami pang iba, di ba? We have different reactions for the different feelings that we have. And today, we are going to see what the first disciples and followers of Jesus felt when he was crucified and how Jesus helped them overcome those feelings after he resurrected. But first, let's watch this video. Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who is crucified. He isn't here. He's risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body was lying. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and he's going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. Hi kids! Welcome to our worship service! Teacher Pat here and I'm so excited to share you about our word for today. We will be talking about what happened after the crucifixion and death of our Lord Jesus. His body was buried in a tomb belonging to Joseph from Arimathea. Joseph was a good man. He belonged to a Jewish council who did not agree when other Jewish leaders decided to kill Jesus. When Jesus died, he went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. He took the body down from the cross, wrapped it in cloth, and laid the body of Jesus inside the tomb. There were women who had come from Galilee with Jesus. They followed Joseph. They left to prepare some sweet-smelling spices to put on the body of Jesus. They saw the tomb where he laid the body of Jesus. Now since it was late at that time and Sabbath was about to begin, after the sun went down, they rested for a day and waited for the Sabbath day to end to come back. Now, in order for us to see what happened next after that, we will be opening our Bibles from Luke chapter 24 and read there. Pick me up on Luke chapter 24 verse 1 and let's read together. It says here, Very early Sunday morning, the women came to the tomb where Jesus' body was laid. They brought the sweet-smelling spices they had prepared. They saw that the heavy stone that covered the entrance had been rolled away. They went in, but they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. They did not understand this. While they were wondering about it, two shining clothes distracted them. 
there were two men wearing those shining clothes and they said to them why are you looking for a living person here this is a place for dead people jesus is not here he has risen from the death do you not remember what he said in galilee he said the son of man must be handed over to the control of sinful men be killed in a cross and rise from death on the third day then the women remembered what jesus has said the women left the tomb and went to the eleven apostles and the other followers they told them everything that had happened at the tomb these women were mary magdalene joanna mary the mother of james and some others they told the apostles everything everything that had happened but the apostles did not believe what they said they sounded like nonsense but peter he got up and ran to the tomb to see he looked in but he only saw the cloth that jesus body had been wrapped in it was just lying there peter went away to be alone wondering what had happened so kids what do you think happened why was the body of jesus not there inside the tomb anymore do you know what happened jesus resurrected there was a resurrection that had happened that's why jesus body was not inside the tomb anymore now kids there are at least two things that we can learn from the resurrection of jesus and let's talk about that now the first thing that we can learn from the resurrection of jesus is that the resurrection of jesus brings hope now what does hope mean it's a feeling of expectation a feeling of trust kids when jesus died his followers lost hope imagine the messiah the savior of israel was gone and they did not know what to do the one that they put their trust on was dead but something else happened the women who had come from the tomb told them what had happened there and they were surprised they were confused at the same time but they knew that it was really something important to talk about so peter went there to confirm if what the women was telling was true and they just and he just saw the cloth where the body of jesus was wrapped with so he went back to share what he has seen with his fellow apostles and followers but more than just hearing they saw jesus with their own eyes imagine imagine how surprised and frightened they were seeing jesus because they saw jesus being crucified kids if you have been in a wake or a funeral of a relative and then you see that person <laughs> days after the burial you would also be frightened <laughs> imagine how you would feel seeing the person whom you thought was dead but now is alive so that was the feeling of the apostles and the followers of jesus after seeing him but jesus assured them that he was not a ghost he showed them his hands and feet and they were so happy that jesus is alive again their hope was brought back so i hope kids that you would always remember that you can put your hope in jesus the second thing is that the resurrection of jesus reveals who he is because the apostles still could not believe what they were seeing they were so confused jesus remind them of what he had told them before we can read that from luke chapter 24 verse 44 it says here jesus said to them remember when i was with you before i said that everything written about me must happen everything written in the law of moses the book of the prophets and the psalms then jesus helped the followers understand the scriptures about him jesus said to them it is written that the messiah would be killed and rise from the death on the third day the death and resurrection of jesus proved to his followers that he is the messiah 
and with it all, all the prophecies about the Messiah proved true through Jesus Christ. The Jews at that time, they need a great savior. They really need someone who can save them from their slavery over the years from a foreign nation. Their greatest need is salvation from eternal suffering caused by sin, not just their physical suffering. That's why Jesus came. And Jesus is not just the Jews' greatest need. He is also the greatest need of every man here in this planet, including you, including me. Jesus is whom we need, kids. And how can we practice the lessons that we have learned for today? Kids, teacher just wants to, rem to let you be reminded of two things with our lesson. The first is that we should always pray to God and always have hope in Him. Put our hope and faith in Him. Because when you have God in your life, it would give you the confidence in everything that you do. Whenever you want to do your assignments, your modules, or the things, the chores that your parents are asking you to do, you can have the confidence because you are placing your hope in Jesus, in God. We can be assured that the more we trust in God, the more that we will become more like Jesus. Secondly, kids, is that let's share that Jesus is the Messiah. It is good to learn. It is also good to be reminded and to know that Jesus is alive and that He is already the He is really the Messiah whom has come and saved us. But it should not stop there, kids. We have to share that news. But more than sharing it to others by telling the story of Jesus, let let us also show them the love, the love of God in our actions, so we can prove that we have the love of God by showing others care and love that that came from God. The people that need to hear the love of Jesus are the ones that are actually hard to get along with. Do you realize that? Have you have experiences of getting along with difficult people? If there's a bully in your school, even if in your online setting, don't fight back. Okay, kids, don't fight back. Learn to deal with that person and share God's love. Okay, because the importance of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus is not just to prove that Jesus is the Son of God. It is the ultimate proof that God's never-ending and powerful love for each and every one of us. It is saying that we are important to Him, that He cares for us, and that He is thinking about us a lot. So kids, remember that God is mindful of you. If you feel like no one loves you, remember that God does. He loves you unconditionally. And kids, you did a very good job today. Thank you for listening to the word. To help us review our power verse, let's now listen to teacher as she takes it away. And now kids, join me as we sing our brand new power verse. Here we go. Three, two, one. Jesus Christ. He has risen. 
So for our craft, we are making a bright Resurrection Day poster. Let's begin! We need the following materials. Black paper, band paper, five different colored papers. So I have yellow, blue, green, red, and pink. We also need the marker, scissors, pencil, glue, and your ruler. Now that we have all the materials, we can start. First, get your black paper and your ruler and the pencil. We need to make a cross. So what I am going to do is that I will just trace the weave of my ruler. Now that we have a cross, we can now cut the outline. But kids, please be careful in using your scissors. Um, you can actually just tear it with your hands, but I just want it to look neatly, so I'm using some scissors. But if you are not comfortable in using your scissors, then you can just tear it like this. because we need to cut thin strips of it really thin strips of it and imagine your rays of the sun imagine the rays of the sun when you're cutting it so it would appear like this you can also make thinner ones just imagine like you're making the rays of the sun sun and then our band paper so glue your first layer on the band paper I'm choosing green so it's up to you on what will be your first layer then I want it to be yellow then I'll glue it on the next part or next So just glue it again. So I'm just placing the glue on the bottom part so we can still adjust the flaps. Also. 
we replace that around our cross. Resurrection Sunday. This is how our craft looks like. And I've also written, aside from Happy Resurrection, He has risen. Today's message is actually very life-changing and it should remind us of God's forgiveness and hope for a future with Him. With this, may we always remember that resurrection is real. It means that our sins are forgiven. Death is not the end because He conquered the power of death and our lives now have an eternal perspective. Good job everyone in your crafts! Please don't forget to send us a selfie with your craft. We hope to see you again next week. Happy Resurrection Sunday! Bye! That's right! The answer is Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary the mother of James. Second, what was the reaction of the disciples when they saw that Jesus is alive? They were scared and thought that Jesus was a ghost. Third, what is our character for today? That's right! The resurrection brings us hope that we can be alive in Christ! Excellent job, kids! Wow! Excellent job mga kids! And ang dami nating natutunan ngayon. At excited na ako to share with your family, friends. Remember, do not forget to ask your parents or guardians to send us pictures of your crafts and your experiences because we would love to see it and feature it here. Our deadline of submission is every Monday at 12 noon. Also, to our dear parents, we have our devotional materials uploaded for you to use in your family devotion time. And before we end, let us pray. Lord, thank you for dying on the cross for us, that we are now forgiven and free. Free to love, to dance, and to worship you with all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you kids for being here with us. See you next week. Bye!